Beneath the dark blue sea, in an underworld we often don't see, among the coral and the dozens of fishes that swim so gracefully, the clams protect their treasured pearls, and as though shy, a magical-like creature hides, a seahorse camouflaged within the seabed's rocks. everyone thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel then welcome I'd love for you to stay and click the subscribe button I also just want to say a really big thank you for all of you who have recently joined me and helped me reach 1000 subscribers I'll be doing a giveaway soon so make sure you keep an eye on that but for now what am I going to be doing today I'll be showing you how to put together your very own beautiful seahorse cloche a simple but beautiful home decor piece. So let's get started. I've shown you how to put a cloche together before but for all my new subscribers it's really simple you just need a vase and these are two separate things that I've kept from things that have been broken or I've thrown. This is a wooden base and it fits perfectly for this and then this is a glass lid. I'm only using this size because my vase is pretty big but if your vase is small you can go ahead and use a doorknob or you can take a lid from a sweet jar. My original idea with this vase was to turn it upside down and then put this lid on top with some hot glue and E6000 and then use this base at the bottom so that it looks a little something like this. But I've decided what I'm going to do with this one instead is have the base this way and then the vase on top and then the lid on top of the vase so you can go with either option but this option gives me a wider space to work with so that's why I'm choosing this one for the main piece I'm going to be using this seahorse that I thrifted and I think we can all agree that this definitely needs a makeover so I'm going to spray paint this white and come back but in the meantime, you're going to need to create a stand for this. To do that, just take some styrofoam scrap and I've also carved a small amount here just so that this seahorse can sit nicely inside. Once your seahorse is nice and dry, take some old makeup and this is a great way to add colour to something when you want it just subtle and not too strong. Once you're happy with the colour, put that aside and take your stand. I'm going to take some material, I bought this from Poundland, so you can probably find something like this in the dollar store. And all we're going to do is wrap this around the styrofoam, hot glue it. Now your stand is ready, just feel where you've made the groove earlier and I'm just going to slice that open. This is just so that it's easier for us to hot glue the seahorse in place. Now that you have your seahorse stand made, you are ready to start decorating all around it. And to do that, you're going to want some shells, some glass beads, pearls, you name it. I think I'm going to start off with some glass pebbles, so just hot glue those into place. And to add some colour and contrast, you can take some bright lime green moss like this. It also comes in other colours, so I'm going to be using a mix. And then what you want to do is create a sign. We're going to do is using a toothpick, some material and some stamps. And you're going to be able to just really easily poke this inside your material and your foam. So get your stamps ready and stamp away. I'm going to go with writing C because it's short and doesn't take up much space. Cut your material out 
and then take a scrap piece of cardboard and just stick that on. Now that you've finished your main structure, we're going to focus on the inside of the vase and what's surrounding the seahorse. I'm going to start with a base layer of white sand. And to decorate the inside you can do anything you want just like before but you're going to see all of the things that I include in mine. I've got some of this plastic coral and I think I'm going to spray paint this in white and then add that to the back of this creation. I'm going to add a touch of colour to this by dry painting using a sponge brush and an acrylic paint that I bought from Poundland. And now I'm just going to add this to the back of our seahorse cloche and we're done. And now all you have to do is put your base down and put your cloche on top and then just secure the lid on. And here's the finished DIY. I'm so, so happy with how this came out. I just love all of the elements and how they've come together and the combination and the colors is just so perfect for me. I hope that you have all enjoyed this DIY as much as I have enjoyed putting it together. If you love how this has come out, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd absolutely love if you can share this with others and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll always be working hard to bring you beautiful, unique content, but until the next DIY, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye! Including today's DIY, these are some previous DIYs I have done for summer. So in case you have missed them or you're new to my channel, I made this box, decorated it and it also opens up to reveal a secret magical getaway. And then we have the mermaid on the waves, so I've taught you all how to make the waves. And then I have this really cute small miniature beach with whales on and then of course my hot glue waterfall and then the flamingo piece here I've done these and more for summer 2019 so if you want to see these make sure you check out my summer playlist